Quaden Bayless has sent a message to his bullies. If you see someone different, don't be rude, just smile and say hi, he told National Indigenous Television in an emotional interview. The nine, year, old from Brisbane, who was bullied because of his dwarfism, has told people to be more understanding. It would be good if they knew about other people who have diseases and things, and just be kind. It's the first sit-down interview Quaden and his mother Yaraka Bayless have done since the video S, he took of him went viral. And it's set to air in full tonight. The family have turned down paid interviews and a guest spot on The Ellen Show in favor of the knee. TV appearance. Quaden told Niv he still doesn't like going to school because of the bullies. You comedian Brad Williams raised more than seven lakh dollars through a GoFundMe page to send Quaden to Disneyland. After the heartbreaking video caused headlines around the world, his family want the money to go tea, he charity instead. Quaden has already shared an important message about standing up to bullies in another interview W. Ethan, I, TV. If you get bullied, just stand up for yourself and don't listen to what they say, he said. Quaden said it was up to parents to teach their children how to behave towards others. The parents should make their kids be nice to people with disabilities, he said. In the original video Ms. Bayless shared Quaden says, give me a knife, I want to kill myself, adding, I just want to die right now. This is the impact that bullying has on a nine, year, old kid that just wants to go to school, get an education and have fun. Ms. Bayless said. But every single freaking day, something happens. Another episode, another bullying, another taunt, another name, calling. He then tearfully asks if any parents or families have advice for how to further raise disability, awareness and education within schools so this doesn't happen. I've got some good advice, but I need more because this is the effect of bullying, this is what it's doing. And I want people to know how much it is hurting us as a family, I want people to educate their children. I've got a son that is suicidal almost every single day. Every time there is a triggering. Anything that happens at school or while we're in public. Which is almost every time we're in public.